Welcome back. Well, today I think it's time for a different kind of book. Today's book is about being afraid. It's also a story about not being afraid. It all depends on how you see things according to this book's author. Let's read and see what he does with this story. Black Dog, written and illustrated by Levi Pinfold. Levi is an English illustrator who created the Bloomsbury 20th anniversary Hogsworth House themed covers for Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone and Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets. Levi is originally from the Forest of Dean in England, but he now lives in Brisbane, Australia with his girlfriend and Howard the Lizard. He likes motorbikes, a lot of music, trees, and some cats. He also attempts to grow vegetables in his spare time. One day, a black dog came to visit the Hope family. Mr. Hope was the first one to see it. My goodness, he cried, dropping his toast. He didn't waste any time in calling the police. There's a black dog the size of a tiger outside my house, he told the policeman. The policeman laughed. What should I do? asked Mr. Hope. Don't go outside, said the policeman and put down the phone. Mrs. Hope was next to get up. My goodness, she cried, dropping her mug of tea. She didn't waste any time in calling for Mr. Hope. Did you know there's a black dog the size of an elephant outside, she yelled. Yes, said Mr. Hope. What should we do? asked Mrs. Hope. Turn out the lights so it doesn't know we're here, said Mr. Hope. Adeline Hope was next to get up. My goodness, she cried, dropping her toothbrush. She didn't waste any time in calling for her parents. Did you know there's a black dog the size of a Tyrannosaurus Rex outside? Yes, said Mr. and Mrs. Hope together. What? What should we do? asked Adeline. Close the curtain so it can't see us. Maurice Hope was the next to get up. My goodness, he cried dropping his teddy bear. He didn't waste any time in calling for the family. Did you know there's a dog the size of a big Jeffy outside? What's a big Jeffy? asked Adeline Hope. Never mind that. What should we do? demanded Maurice Hope. Hide under the covers, they all wailed. It was then that the youngest member of the Hope family, called Small for short, noticed that something was going on. What, what are all you doing under there? We're hiding from the black dog, they whispered. Oh, you are such sillies, said Small, opening the front door. Don't go out there, cried her family. The hound will eat you up. It'll munch your head. It will eat your bones. But Small went anyway. Outside, the black dog leaned down toward her and breathed. Golly, you are big, said Small. What are you doing here, you guffin? The black dog snuffed her. All 
right then, she said. If you're going to eat me, you'll have to catch me first. And with that, she scurried into the lowering trees. As she ran, she made up a song. You can't follow where I go unless you shrink or don't you know. The black dog followed. As Small hurried toward the frozen pond, under the little bridge and over the ice, she sang, Your paws are thick, ice is thin, a great big dog just might fall in. And the black dog followed. Next, she scuttled through the playground, down the slide, and around the merry-go-round, singing, You might be big, I may be small, but I'm not afraid of you at all. And still, the black dog followed. Finally, Small had run all the way back to the house. You'll find out why they all hide if you follow me inside. And with that, Small tumbled into her warm home through the cat flap. She really was that small. And so was the black dog. Inside, Small grabbed a laundry basket. And as the black dog scrabbled in behind her, she covered him with a loud, Ha! Just then, the rest of the Hope family popped up from behind their barricade. You haven't been munched, cried Mrs. Hope. You haven't been crunched, cried Mr. Hope. You haven't been eaten, yelled Maurice Hope, missing a poetic opportunity. But where's the black dog? asked Adeline. Without a word, Small lifted the basket. The rest of the Hope family were extremely pleased to see that the black dog was neither as huge or as scary as they had feared. He doesn't seem fierce at all, now that I really look at him, said Mr. Hope. The rest of the family agreed. We were silly, said Adeline. Only Small knew the right thing to do. Everyone was quiet for a while, thinking about how brave Small had been. You've got a lot of courage facing up to a big, fearsome thing like that, said Mrs. Hope. There was nothing to be scared of, you know, replied Small Hope as she went to sit by the fire. And the black dog followed. The end. Now, you know this is just a story, right? And of course, you shouldn't just let a stray dog into your house. What the story is, is really about is how easy it is to get scared or freaked out about something that really isn't that big a deal. For example, we can take a poor grade on a math test and then think about ourselves, I am a failure and a completely stupid person. Now, remember, God never thinks anyone is a failure and a completely stupid person. You you are a child of God and, and precious to him. So precious he sent his son Jesus down to earth so we would know exactly how much we are loved. Nothing can separate us from the love of God in Jesus Christ our Lord. 
So remember, if you start to panic about something or get afraid about the future or what's going to happen, just remember the verse from Psalm 56. This I know, that God is for me. And never forget, Jesus is crazy about you, remember? And as Pastor H.T. always says, you are enough. You are enough just the way you are. You are loved by God. See you next week. Bye-bye.